How's it everybody? Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan battle video. In today's video, we are checking out the STR Kale. She recently sub easy eight over here on Global. It took us a minute to get to her. We had one very stubborn Link, but we did get her up to max links. We got her rainbow status. We're going to show her off next to the tech cauliflower so let's take a look at what she's doing we got attack and defense 160 percent plus an additional attack and defense 16 percent and chance of performing a critical hit six percent per pure sands or peppy gals category ally on the team she launches an additional attack and there's universal survival or pure sands category enemy <laughs> She launches an additional super attack when there are six or more universe six category allies on the team. She has an additional defense 160 and guards all attacks when there's a character who uh, whose name includes Cauliflaw on the turn. So we're going to try to keep her and Tech Cauliflaw together because they run the same link. So we're going to go ahead. Let's hop in. Let's test her out. She is an infinite stacking unit. She does stack attack and defense and we do unfortunately have her on the wrong rotation. Okay, but so we do got to send off that STR. Uh, we we got to send off our tech. Uh, we got to send off our tech cauliflower here and no orbs the way I want them, but we'll live. Alright, there we go. We get the dodge on Vados. We can dodge the super. Yeah, there we go. So now I do like Vados' support. Um, she does basically support uh, up to 80%. Now, unfortunately, on this team, she's only supporting for 40% because it only covers a couple of the categories, her support. But uh, it's still very, very helpful. It's about the only good support unit on Universe 6 anyway, so we got to kind of live with it. There we go. All right, so we do have her here. We have her slot one. We're actually starting with 300k defense. Honestly, that's not that bad. So we'll keep the AGL Kale and Cauliflower on so they can build next turn and we'll send off the AGL Kale. So we do have guard this turn. There we go, very nice. So we can't actually take any damage and we're gonna go ahead and let her build up the attack. So like I was saying about her before, as long as there's a Caulifla on the rotation, she can't be touched, right? You basically have an untouchable rotation. You have Kale, who is able to tank the hits because of her guard, and then you have Caulifla, who can dodge tank the hits. It's a really fun rotation to have, right? And that just leaves Kefla kind of open here because there's nobody to protect her. Uh, let's do that number. And let's just let this rotation finish out what it needs to do. Pretty sure the double super on Kefla here will be enough to finish him off. There we go, we got 15 mil on our Kefla here. There we go, and we pull the double super. Like I said, I was pretty sure she was gonna be, she was gonna be able to do that. All right, so that brings us to the AGL Oceanus phase. So normally, obviously we would play the smart thing and we would play her um, in slot two with the Cauliflower in slot uh, one, but for the sake of the video, we're gonna do this. Look at how high her attack stack grew though like that's kind of crazy um and then let's do that perfect all right so double digits there pre-super okay now she should have a pretty decent chance to crit considering how many peppy gals we have on the team there's the crit All right, we get a double super out of Cauliflower. So having her next to her best link partner is now making her look much, much better. How did she get the triple super? All right, here we go. And we'll get the defense raise on the AGL Kale and Cauliflower. This seems to be happening right now. Every time I use, it, use them, they end up being forced into slot three. 
There we go. Alright, so we got a defense raise there. And here we go. We got Super Saiyan 2 Kefla out, which is what we want. Alright, let's go ahead and let's transform uh, Kale here. Alright, so we're not going to get the double super here. Well, actually, no, I think it's less now, right? What is it now? I don't think we need all six. Oh, it's four! Okay, so actually we are going to get it. Okay, well, let's take that. Okay, so this is another one of those rotations where I'm pretty sure we're just going to finish off right away. Kefla is just that good. We get the double super. Ooh, we actually get the triple. Ooh, all right, well, we should be able to take this. Yeah, double digits, excellent. All right, opening move with Kefla, 19 mil. Excellent. Alright, so like I was saying before, we're actually going to stick her in slot 1, just to watch her kind of build these attacks here. Um, and just to see how well she uh, can stack. But she's actually doing really nice on the attack stacking, and again, she is raising defense infinitely. And with that guard, she's able to tank these hits from these bosses slot 1. But again, the trick is you have to have the Kalifa on rotation. If you don't, she's a sitting duck. There we go, nice. Ooh, he dodged Kalifa. Oh, there we go, 100% dodge right here. Look at that, beautiful. All right, now we just need Vados to give her 70% chance to dodge procs. Oh, well, okay. I guess even if we don't, it doesn't matter. All right, let's grab that. Perfect. There's one. Ah, uh, we didn't grab enough keys here, so I was hoping we would get the hidden potential. But I did grab less so that the uh, these other guys can get their chance to build. And of course, we don't dodge the super. <laughs> Alright, I guess Kale and Cauliflower just aren't going to stack here. Alright, so this brings us to the final phase. Let's do this number. Alright, so we got the most amount of links active. Just under, or just over 750k defense with guard. Quite the insane attacks at 15 million. That's pretty good if you ask me. So let's go ahead, let's see if we can actually finish this rotation. So I was about to say, are we really about to get no hits in so she doesn't get her build? We get the normal. We get another normal. There we go. There's the super. Alright, so seven point on the final attack stat here that we were able to get it with her. We get an additional super, 7.6. So, I mean, their attack stats are kind of low. I think they're really more just meant for tanking than anything else. There we go. We get another one, 7.8. 
Nice. <laughs> we didn't get anything from anyone else there. All right, so there you have it. There is the Rainbow Max Link Showcase for the Sub EZA STR Kale. Honestly, pretty good, right? She can tank most hits. I've had her in Fusion Zamasa and Omega literally unable to be touched because of the amount of defense she's getting in her passive, the stacking, plus the innate guard, right? All of those things really, really help this unit out, make her a valuable asset to the Universe 6 team. It is a shame, though, that, uh, as I've said in previous videos, Universe 6 just hasn't quite got the Dokkan Fest buffs that it really, really needs. Kefla and these sub-EZAs are really, really helpful. It brings some new light into the team. However, it, 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 they do still lack a bit. As I said before with Kale, if you don't have a Kalifa on the rotation, she can end up being a massive liability. So she really only works in situations where you have those two together and consistently at that, which isn't many events that you can actually pull this off. So... Anyways, guys, that is it for the video. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And in the comments down below, let me know what do you think of the STR Kale and the Tech Cauliflower now that they've easy ate. Are you finding yourself using them more and more on various different teams? Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, guys, as always, thanks for watching and aloha.